I used a thousand rand, which was my initial investment, and I turned it into 9,777 rand. What's up Louis, it's Guys here, hope you are doing great. The topic of today's video is about how to invest a thousand rand. This is a question that I get asked quite a lot. For some people a thousand rand is a very large amount of money and for others it's a very small amount. With that said, this video will be a no bullshit video and I'm going to jump straight to the topic. I'm going to show you guys how I invested a thousand rand to get the best possible return and this is something that you can do as well and the whole idea of this video is to show you that all the advice that your average person gives you isn't necessarily the best advice you'll see people or other youtubers recommend diversifying your money meaning that you should take a thousand rand and invest 100 rand into a ETF a hundred rand into a unit trust a hundred rand into retail bonds hundred rand into easy properties and so on and so forth I'm here to tell you guys today that that is the worst advice someone can give you the truth of the matter is that a thousand thousand rand won't make you a multi-millionaire no matter how you invest that money investing a thousand rand and becoming a millionaire just through that one investment is nearly impossible your odds would probably be better winning the lotto with that said I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can turn a thousand rand into a big and large amount of money and you can use this snowball effect to really grow your investment portfolio before we jump into this there's one tip that I really want to share with you guys before we follow this strategy and that would be the best way you can invest a thousand rand is to invest it in knowledge as cliche as this sounds this is genuinely the best advice I can give you this is the way I started and it really helped me to propel my investment journey I made a lot more money from my investments that I would have if I followed the average investors advice with that said I'll use a thousand rand to buy the book that I wanted to read to pay for a one-on-one -on -one session from someone that knows more than I do I would pay the money to invest invest in a webinar I would pay the money for a mentor or someone that can actually help me to improve my financial position investing in your own knowledge is the best thing that you can do and this will ultimately help you to make better investment decisions instead of just investing a hundred rand here and a hundred rand there this might seem like really obvious information but again this is something that I feel that each and every one can do to really really improve their financial position there's no better way to make more money than to improve your general information about a certain topic and this is exactly what I did and I feel that this is something that you need to do before you just putting money into random investments a lot of times I see people have like 20 different investments with one has 15 rand invested the other one has like a 10 rand invested this is a great way to experiment but ultimately this doesn't really help you out so with that said what is this magical investment advice that I can give you and how can you actually invest a thousand rand great question I'll quickly show you guys what I did and it will help you to understand my way of thinking I'm going to jump to my easy equities account and I'll show you guys what I mean so what I've done is I've invested around a thousand two hundred and fifty four rand in one individual stock although this is not exactly a thousand rand the principle of the matter is still the same so what I've done is I've invested a around a thousand rand in a individual stock which is a company that I saw an opportunity in and I thought that the company is really undervalued and it's trading below its historical averages the company was trading for a very low price to free cash flow so I thought let me invest a certain amount of money in this company hopefully the company will grow and the share price will rise so this is exactly what happened the company I invested in is famous brands um, just to give you a quick summary it owns like steers and demonaires and wimpy and all of these fast food chains obviously during COVID the fast food industry went to shit, and um, a lot of these companies prices fell quite badly I thought to myself this is something that will obviously change eventually so I saw the opportunity 
I invested a certain amount and at the moment the company's shares has risen around 73.87% my goal for these type of investments is to make at least a hundred percent return um, to take out all of my money and to push it into a new stock repeating the whole process so i've made investments in some other companies like uh, montuac renewables i'll just show the logo on the screen and um, I actually invested a thousand rand that time and the returns I received was quite a bit. I took the profit that I made and I invested it into a new company. The company I invested in was Sun International. Again, this was a company that was really undervalued at that stage and it was trading below its intrinsic value. So there was a big margin of safety. I invested around 2,836 rand into that company and at the moment the company has a return of 244.69 percent so if this reaches a certain return again i'll do the same i'll cash out all of my profit use that whole amount and to push it into a new stock so simply what i've done is i saw a good opportunity and i invested everything that i owned at that moment which in that case was around a thousand rand instead of diversifying a hundred rand here and a hundred rand there i took everything that i owned and invested it into one stock and luckily it paid off i used the profit that i received and to invest it in another opportunity that i saw and at the moment it is definitely paying off once sun international reaches a certain return i'll cash out of that and I'll repeat the process, which basically snowballs all of my money. I used a thousand rand, which was my initial investment, and I turned it into 9,777 rand. This is a return of tenfold or almost tenfold. This is why I was excited to make this video, because it's great to show you guys that it's definitely possible to make money with a small amount of money. But before I invested my money, I really gained the correct knowledge and that gave me the opportunity and the insight to do these type of investment. This is definitely not financial advice and this is just my attempt to show you guys how you can make money with a very small amount of money. And it's because I went against the grain of your average investor or financial advisor's advice. With that said, I really do hope that this video helped you in some way. My investment strategy might be a different different from yours it's always fun to share different strategies so if you have a certain strategy feel free to let us know down in the comments and share your insight with us hopefully someone else reads your comment and that might just help them to improve their financial position just before i end off this video i wanted to let you guys know that i am offering some one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions I am not a financial advisor, so I can't legally give you advice. This is more of an education session where I help you to reach certain goals before a certain time. Again, legally, I'm not allowed to give you financial advice, but I can definitely help you out with quite a lot of your questions. With that said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.